What's up, New York? survived the impossible, drove back a friggin' alien invasion, and we did it together as heroes. Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today, I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes, author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out. With all of you out there, I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up, no exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth, warps it into something else, like a, a, like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson signing off. MJ. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Ooh. 
What's this? Lance and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I'm no Norman, I think. because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, we might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay.
I knew you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and, of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? One last thing. I got a little something for you. Where are good? Thank you. 